Paul, if you can please uh, mute your lines for now. I see everybody's muted, so thank you for doing that. Um, if you can have any questions during the presentations, please use the chat box area. Um, there should be a chat feature uh, where you can put your questions so we can read it towards the end of the presentations. And at the end of the presentation, um, you should be able to ask questions as well. Um, but, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me introduce you bef before we go into the presentation, our special guest today, Michelle Calloway. Uh, thank you for joining us, Michelle. And a quick uh, introduction about you. Um, so Michelle, it's somebody that um, I, met, I met through a uh, mutual connection. She introduces and uh, it's been great to sort of work together and develop this webinar to provide you uh, hopefully some value to you. But a little bit about Michelle, she's a speaker and international best-selling author, uh, and also a tech founder and CEO of a company called Revealio, which is gonna go over in a little bit, but it's basically an innovative software solutions company. Um, and she's also the founder of a Tech With Heart Network, and I'm sure hopefully you can uh, tell us a little bit more about that if there's some questions at the end. Uh, but this is basically an online community and TV show empowering small business owners to achieve success in a rapidly changing digital era. Now, Michelle is also a driven to success in response to a calling she believes has been placed on her life. Her goal is to make augmented, augmented reality interactive um, experiences accessible and affordable for everyone to enhance human, human connection and empower business owner to have more impact, influence, and income. Now, Michelle has been featured in Inc. Magazine, that's really great, and praised by Kevin Harrington, innovator and creator of the informational that most of us known as Shark Tank or the original Shark, um, you know, which is an ABC um, TV show, um, Shark Tank. Uh, for providing small business owners with a unique differentiator that creates organic conversations. Now, Michelle has combined her expertise in visual communications with the emerging world of augmented reality, as we also know it as AR technology. Um, a augmented reality technology basically overlays virtual content on top of real world objects or images when they are viewed through a mobile or wearable smart device and this is not this is probably the closest thing that um that i was playing on recently right in regards to augmented reality i was just playing with my snapchat filters over the weekend um just to give you an idea right for our audience what some of the sort of things will look like uh, augmented reality um just basically if you play with some of just snap uh, snapchat or or uh, Instagram filters that could give you an idea of what basically uh, this is talking about, right? Basically, a mental reality is a technology that overlays uh, virtual content on top of the real world objects. Um, now, Michelle wants to share her inspiration, inspirational story as a thought leader and teach the power of interactive branded experiences to forward thinking business owners and corporate leaders. Her heart is to empower small businesses to gain the ultimate competitive advantage in an amazing era by captivating their audience and influencing their buying decision. Um, so Michelle, with that said, I turn it over to you. <laughs> thank you, Leo. Thank you for having me. And thank you for attending, those of you that are here. I really believe that you're gonna walk away feeling very enlightened and empowered, something you probably have not seen before, but is uh, definitely grabbing a lot of attention. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. Can you all see that okay? Uh, yes, Michelle, we can see the presentation okay. Are you able to see like my headers? I'm not sure if I'm sharing the right screen or not. Let's see. Okay. Uh, see. I can see the presentation and it says disruptive storytelling. Okay, well, let's just, move, let's just move forward here then. All right, so um, actually, I'm going to presentation mode. I thought I was sharing the right screen, Leo, but I'm not seeing my arrows. So now how do I go back? Okay, guess I'll use my keyboard. <laughs> all right, hopefully this will go really well. Um, welcome, you guys. My name is Michelle Calloway. I'm going to speak to you all about a new 
storytelling tool in town that's getting all kinds of attention and causing people to be like overwhelmed and excited all at the same time. It's connecting people and it's gaining the uh, in, uh, it's gaining the attention of corporate giants like Facebook, Google, and Apple. And so I want to empower small business owners with that same uh, tool so that they can be disruptive in their space. So we're calling this disruptive storytelling because we all know stories are what sells. And we are using this storytelling tool to generate more leads and influence buying decisions because most of us are indeed struggling to be seen in an oversaturated marketplace. And um, especially online, when it comes to finding ways to be unique and different, it is a struggle because you know, you're not there in front of somebody. So you're just hoping that what you're saying, what you're doing online is indeed working. But the reality is most of us are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars every year of potential revenue because we don't stand out enough from our competition. So we need to change that. Uh, one of the things that we're, or three things that you're going to learn from our presentation today is how can you attract more clients, just specifically your perfect client, and how can you then have more influence over their buying decisions and ultimately, how can you have more income by attracting more clients and influencing their buying decisions? So people are coming, consumers are coming to the decision-making table more informed today than they ever have been with the internet era that we are living in. But they're craving for more. They want to experience your brand some way, somehow. So it's our job to provide a very memorable experience that gets them to say, oh yes, you're the one. In fact, Salesforce did a survey last year found that 80% of consumers said that the experience that they have with the brand is as important as the product or service that they, they sell or provide. So it really is becoming an interactive experience era. We need to be providing some form of an experience that gets people to walk away going, oh man, that was awesome. I so believe in what this company is doing. I really only want to work with them. The, one of the tools we're going to be using to convey those stories is video. If you're not using video in your business, please start doing that like tomorrow. <laughs> Just start really, really soon because video taps into three of the dominant learning styles that we have as humans. And that's why it resonates so highly with most people. You now can show who you are. You can show what you have, what you do, what, what the value is of the service that you offer. You can show all that through video. And then on top of that, if there's audio and they can hear what you're saying, so they're resonating with your message that way, they're, they're seeing the story play out in front of their eyes. And if there's text on the screen, which I also highly recommend in an era where, especially on social media, people can scroll your video content without having to actually turn the volume up. So it's important that's because you're also tapping into those people who learn by reading. So video is a very, very powerful tool. But I'm going to show you some different ways to use video that will be a little bit disruptive uh, if you're not already using video um, and some of this is not going to be new but some of it will be new to some some of you one of the things i really recommend that you do with video is don't only show products or services being used but take some time and get yourself on camera and connect with people that way put a face to your brand people will love your product or service but they'll love it more if they know who you are and who what you stand for so giving people the opportunity to see your eyes to hear your voice to look at your body or to read your body language through a video is a very great way for them to start building that connection with you and to have that experience with you the next thing I really recommend we do more of is to provide social proof via a video form. So if you have what we call <laughs> super fans in your business, people who absolutely love everything that you're doing and all, all your products or services, take some time, reach out to them and ask them if they would do you a solid and get on video with you. Invite them onto a Zoom chat with you. See if they'll share with you on camera some way where you can record it why it is that they love so much working with you. So it's one thing for you to be touting that you're awesome and your product's awesome, but it's so much more valuable when you have somebody else saying those things. So that is uh, social proof that is worth its weight in gold. And I love to incentivize people to do this for me. And one of the great things that you can do as incentive back is to say, I will cross promote you. 
So ask them to introduce themselves, share their name before they give the testimonial, and then um, make sure that you can hyperlink that video or the link underneath the video somehow back to their website so you're actually in, in return promoting them as much as they're promoting you. So that's a big win. The other way that we need to be thinking about when we are creating content is that we need to remain as authentic as possible. People connect with real people. So the more real that we are while maintaining professionalism, it's gonna be a win. People don't connect well to people who appear to be too perfect or have it two together. So this is a, just a suggestion here is to just maintain authenticity and transparency as often as you can because that is what builds connection. And storytelling is a great way to show a little bit of transparency, share a story as to why it is you're doing what you're doing and uh, how, how does it connect to you, to you know, your why. Make sure that you are keeping that uh, top of mind when you're building content. So the, the other way to be as authentic as possible is to do more live broadcasting. The thing people love so much, of, well, there's multiple reasons why live broadcasting is so incredibly powerful. One is you, you, you're pretty much very vulnerable because there's no editing. <laughs> it's live, it's on the fly, you're sharing with people what's going on at the time that it's happening. So it's real time and that's really exciting. People can uh, start engaging with you more often, the more live that you are, the more often you go live. And then the other thing that I love uh, to do is to share a little bit of backstory that leads up to something. So if you are going to be doing a big launch of a product or addition to a service, why not build up some momentum leading up to that launch? And what better way to build that momentum than to be showing people on, you know, through live broadcasting, what it takes to get these things in place to, to that point where you're ready to go live. Because you know, have you ever heard of people that uh, have, don't own their own business and they just see you and they, they just think that it was easy to get to where you're at? <laughs> they only see the tip of the iceberg. Well, why not share with them a little bit about what it takes to get up to there? And then as you're sharing that with them, they're connecting with you. And so therefore they're buying into more of who you are and what you stand for and leading up to that big launch date. They're going to be so happy to be your cheerleader and bring other people to that because they've, they've been a part of it along the way. So storytelling in this capacity by inviting people into your story is a very, very powerful tool. So if you are still using email communication, what better way to enhance your email communication than to tell people what you're saying rather than expect that they're going to read your words. So if you're going to start including video into your email, I recommend you keep those videos brief, a quick synopsis of what the email was about. But again, you're inviting yourself into their living room. So they may be looking at your email when they're at home or sitting on the couch and now all of a sudden you're in front of them and they're hearing your voice and they're connecting with you. So if you really want to increase your uh, email responses and leads and um, get people bragging about you, perhaps just start plopping some emails or some video into your email and resonating with them in that way. Storytelling is powerful. So now what about when you're out and about in the real world? So all those elements that I just showed you were all digital. I'm gonna show you something now. So when you can take that same power of video and supercharge it so that when you're out and about in the physical realm networking, you can blow people away with your story and who you are and what you do. So are you ready to blow past the competition? <laughs> let's go, let's, let's dig in. All right, so how can you attract more clients? There's a new technology in town that overlays virtual content on top of real world objects. I know Leo mentioned it in, when he was reading my bio. This is a game called Pokemon Go. It launched in 2016. And you can see through the visual, uh, the screen here, the phone screen that he's looking, the viewer is looking at the sidewalk in front of him. But when he views it, that sidewalk through his phone, he sees a virtual yellow character. And that character appears as though it's really there in real life, even though it, when you look away from the phone, it's not there. So this is what we call augmented reality technology. And it means just that. It means to add to our reality. It is a cousin of virtual reality, except for you don't need to be taken out of your real world environment in order to experience. It. If you are a um, Iron Man fan, then you've seen him interact with virtual content when he's in his workshop or when he's wearing special glasses that allow him to see that virtual content. 
I know Spider-Man just came out, and Spider-Man now has augmented reality glasses, so he too can see virtual content. So what we're able to do is now bring that to the uh, retail or the marketing space. In fact, um, here's a sample of IKEA. IKEA created an app that allows you to not only shop their catalog on your mobile device, but now you can actually take an object out of that catalog and place it into your real world living room environment and see what it looks like in your real world environment. Is that color a good color? If not, you can swap the color out. You can actually get real world measurements too to see if that couch is gonna fit in that space. And you can move it around and, and see what it would look like to rearrange the piece, you know, some furniture in your living room. It's a really fun way to, to visualize a product before you purchase it. And this is a free app to download if you guys wanna play a little bit with it. It's really fun. And we call that in-home visualization. So experience it before you buy it. Another way that it's being used, augmented reality, is that when it comes to packaging, this Lego example, they have a kiosk where you can take your Lego package up to the kiosk and it recognizes the image on the package and it will uh, um, overlay a 3D version of the contents inside. So in this case, it's the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. And so the, uh, they can even animate the little Lego characters to walk around the 3D version of the Millennium Falcon. So that's really a great way to engage consumers, give them a little bit more than just what they see on the flat package. So beyond a 3D model, think about it this way. What if, what if your packaging, if you have a product or a service, what if your product tag could like come alive with some virtual content? What if your product packaging itself could come alive with another level of connection and communication? There's been wine bottles that talk to people. It's very engaging. So we need to be thinking differently and start moving toward, towards more of an interactive experience like this. We call this interactive packaging. But the next thing that we're going to talk about is how you can take something as simple as a promotional printed uh, piece that you have, whether it be a business card, a rat card, a book, maybe you're an author and you want your book to come alive. We can do make banners come alive. We can make t-shirts, logos, hats, uh, swag bags come alive with a, a, a message from you to your audience. And along that, you can have these call to action buttons that'll take them to make that next step. So we call this interactive promotions. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more about this particular use case after I make sure that you understand a little bit more about who I am and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So um, Leo mentioned I am the founder of Revealio. It means to reveal something magically. We are an innovative software solutions company that just happens to specialize in augmented reality and artificial intelligence and more of the emerging technologies. My background though is in visual communications and digital media, and I have been an um, augmented reality expert now since 2012, but I also am a speaker and an international bestseller. So if you know of anybody that else needs to hear about this new technology, please let me know and I'd be more than happy to see if uh, they could, you know, perhaps may want me to speak to their audience. So the inspiration behind Revealio happened when I was creating my very first prototype with augmented reality and a young lady friend came into my office and she had seen that I can make images and objects like appear with virtual content on them. And so she had fallen in love, but her boyfriend was now deployed overseas in the military and she missed him like crazy. She came up with the idea of creating a greeting card that we can send to him that would come alive and, and talk to him when he was really, really missing her. So this is what we sent him. Watch this. Hey Josh, it's Gabby. Yes, I'm on an app. <laughs> it's weird, but um, it's raining here and um, it's cold. Somehow that made me think of Germany. Not sure why. Um, I miss you so much. Did you see how she just started talking on the card? He told me that when he watched this card come alive like that and he heard her talking, that it rocked him to his core and that the oceans just disappeared between them. And he, she seemed as if she was literally right there with him. He carried that card on his wallet, in his wallet, sorry, every day while he was serving because he felt that she was somehow embodied in that card and didn't ever want to be separated from her again. So when I saw that power of human connection and having already lost the love of my life way too prematurely in life, I totally value relationships and human connection. 
maybe more than most because of the loss level of loss that I've experienced it. So um, I decided at that juncture in my life that I needed to create an, an opportunity for everyone to experience this amazing level of connection and across oceans even by creating an app that is super accessible and super affordable for everybody to experience this. So um, I created an app that makes marketing materials come alive and I'm going to show you an example of a business card coming alive with this video overlay. Oopsie. <laughs> Hang on a second, see if I can get that to play. Hi, Michelle Calloway here. I'm a speaker, author, and tech founder of Revealio, an augmented reality marketing tool that you're actually witnessing right now. If you love what you're seeing and think that there's incredible potential of using it in your business as a marketing tool, please tap on the website button on your mobile screen and go to my website and learn more. So the idea here is that we could take our stories now and we could sorry something's happening here let me go back i think i may have hit a button we are able to take our stories now and we're able to marry them with the physical world so all that wonderfulness of visual storytelling we're doing online we can now you know make it happen in right front of people's eyes by making something physical something tangible come alive right before their eyes with our story, it's really quite dynamic. When I built this technology and I started marketing it, Inc. Magazine reached out to me because they loved the idea of how simple it was. They said Or organic conversions like this are so hard to come by. You could grab people's interest in a way that it's, uh, it's organic and it's a conversation piece. And that's it, it really converts more people because they're captivated. And when people are captivated, they're easier to convert. So. I was very excited when they reached out and, and found that we were doing something so very useful for business owners. And um, the, the reason it's so powerful is because augmented reality video marketing is it completes that circle. It, it provides that kinesthetic learner the opportunity to touch something that resonates deeply. And then when that that physical object now comes alive with virtual content you're tapping into all the other learning styles and it's just such a dynamic experience that it really is resonating with approximately 95 percent of all people it's very very powerful so how can you have more influence with this new tool well let me just show you when you are out and about networking the best thing that you can do is you can sh now show somebody who you are and what you do. What is happening here? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my word. I am so sorry. And this is being recorded. Let me just go back. My, my uh, stupid chair hit something. Wow. I apologize, you guys. Let me go back. And we're almost there. No worries, Michelle. This is what happened when it's live and raw. Right? <laughs> I was like, what is happening here? Well, thank you for your patience. I'm almost there. Okay. Okay, so the best thing to do when you're out and about networking is to visually show somebody who you are and what you can do through this amazing storytelling tool. It's much better than using your words because there's language barriers that could happen with, with words only. So this is a visual tool. So you're now able to like, hey, let me show you what I do. And you can just wave it in front of your book. If you're an author, you can show your book cover coming alive. If, it's, if you have business cards with you, you can make your business card come alive. If you have rack cards or a flyer or a capability statement or a white paper, you can make any of those things come alive and show people the value that you're able to offer and they can understand quickly who you are and what you do. And on top of that, they're going to start looking at you differently. <laughs> they're going to think, holy cow, who are you again? You're blowing my mind right now. This is disruptive in the sense that when you show somebody who you are with this tool, all of a sudden they're you, you, you kind of disrupt their normal way of thinking. So they're they kind of like sometimes you'll see them, they'll shake their head like going, what, what, what just happened there and how is this happening? And so you essentially even have a captive audience. You, you have an opportunity to not, while well, you're showing them who you are and what you're doing, but to continue to talk to them about why it is that, you know, you feel that you would be a good fit for them because hopefully at this point in time, you've already learned a little bit about them in the networking experience. We call this the celebrity status. Your influence just went through the roof because you were just an or ordinary Joe at that point when they first met you and now all of a sudden you are just like a rock star in their eyes. So this is a very powerful experience. 
to, to gain that level of influence instantly. And beyond that, because of the power of video and the storytelling factor and the, the way I built the app with the capability buttons that I'm going to show you, you can take somebody through the entire buyer's journey in less than 60 seconds. You can watch it in their eyes where they go from, oh, wow, I like that to, oh, wow, I want that within a split second. Let me see if this will play here. I'll show you this guy's reaction. I like it. So he went from, oh, I like that, to, oh, I want that in a split second. You saw the light in his eyes. Everything was resonating. It was like hitting on all cylinders. What an easy conversion. So that happens more than you would, you know, more than you can imagine when you're showing people who you are through this tool. So how can you have more income with this tool? Well, because you're going to attract more clients and you're going to be able to influence their buying decision. And the reason why is because you're going to be able to have the power to take them to the next step. So beyond the wow factor, beyond the influence, the, the oh, wow, I, I want that part. Now they can instantly convert. This is powerful because when you're out in the real world, it gets really frustrating. Like if you have somebody that says, oh, I want I want to, I want to, I want this right now you need to be able to give them that power to be able to say, oh, well, just tap on that button and go buy it right now. If you're a nonprofit and you're trying to get people to help to donate for your cause or to get on board or join the, join the cause, you need to be able to have that instant accessibility for them to do so. These call to action buttons that we offer will provide that gateway. When it comes to different choices of buttons, you're allowed to have up to four um, through the Revealio, but you're, I really recommend you make one of those buttons be a gift button. That way you're even giving them extra added incentive to download the app for themselves so that they can experience this content firsthand. Again, tapping into the kinesthetic learner there and incentivizing them because they're going to get something of benefit back. And then of course you're getting them to hopefully opt into your marketing funnel so you can be communicating with them in the future. So about 40% of people who do see this at the time will download the app immediately because they're just so completely blown away and excited about it. They're probably kinesthetic learners, like I mentioned. Um, but then the rest, you need to provide them extra added incentive. So I say, why not make it a game? Make it fun for people. The more engaging the, your experience, the more memorable it will be. When I speak on stage, I always make it a game. I provide the audience with a variety of my branded materials that all have different images on them. Each image is going to trigger a different video response. There's only going to be one in the audience that's going to be the grand prize winner, so I build that up so that they don't even fully understand how, um, how awesome it's going to be, but everybody is excited to play because they don't know if they're going to win. So there's, there should always be something in it for them. So I always make sure there's consolation prizes to give. I've had a 70% of the room convert through a two-step email verification process to ensure I was getting their proper email just because they wanted to find out what they won. That was fun for them. And I was able to get a lot of leads out of that at the same time to communicate with them further down the road to, to carry on the conversation. So it's a really fun thing to do to make it a game for them. Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, is saying that augmented reality is going to be as influential to our society as the smartphone. So if you think about that for a second, what I just said, that's not me saying this is a great idea, guys. This is um, Tim Cook saying this is going to be as influential as the smartphone. <laughs> there was a day and a time when people didn't think they needed a smartphone. And now look at everybody has a smartphone, including toddlers. So this is an opportunity for us to all get in this space before it becomes hits critical mass. Um, my warning to you is that if you're shy, please do not even consider using this tool because what will happen is when you're out and about and you're using it to show people who, how awesome you are, people will squeal in delight. They'll scream, sometimes even call their colleagues from across the room to come take a look at what you're showing them because it's just that dynamic. So it's not for the faint hearted. <laughs> it's only for those people who are really looking to, you know, all, cause all kinds of atten get a, a, attention and attract clients. So it's so simple and easy. I, like I mentioned, I really wanted to make it so that you don't have to be technologically savvy to use this tool. You simply will let us know, send us whatever artwork that you want to come alive, and then you submit your video to us. If you need help creating your video, we can do that as well. The video is meant to be short, like an intro, like a teaser, uh, less than 60 seconds, and then you get to select which call to action buttons you want to appear on your mobile phone. 
and that's it. We take care of the rest. It's really that easy. You do not, we have 90 year old grandmothers out there using this to show off how awesome they are as an author. Once your reveal has been created, we let you know, and then you simply was just download the free app, and then you just tap on the View a Revealio button. There's only two buttons. You can't go wrong. This is a really simple app. And once you tap on View a Revealio, then you just hold the phone over your object. It could be your banner. It could be your book. You just want to fit the entirety of that object into the frame of the phone and watch it come alive. Pretty easy peasy. And if you decide to engage with the Revealio service, this is what you would receive. We give you a free 30-minute strategy session to discuss your particular uh, project and how you would like to go about to make sure that um, how you'd like to go about setting it up so that you're going to gain the most exposure and value out of that. And then we give you an hour of our design assistance if you need us to when it comes to your artwork. Sometimes people say, oh, I love this. I want to just take this opportunity to create a whole new business card. Well, we'd be more than happy to help you create that new business card. We also create, uh, you, once you submit the elements, we do all of the activation and the connection and the modifications as needed. So really you don't need to be tech savvy, we do it for you. And then you gain access to the most powerful marketing tool there is right now. On the back end, you can gain full control over your Revealio content on the video side, the virtual side. So you can swap out your video as often as you like. You get to have visibility on how often your reveals are being viewed. And you get to edit those call to action buttons. So therefore, essentially, you're keeping your campaigns fresh and relevant while leaving the front end image alone. You're able to modify the back end virtual content as often as you'd like. So that's powerful. So the value of Revealio, I believe, if you want to think about this, instance, instant celebrity status in somebody else's eyes is an invaluable value. And top of mind awareness, I've actually had somebody tell me multiple times I've had this happen, where somebody says, you were the a topic of conversation last night. <laughs> what is that top of mind awareness value to you? I think it's pretty invaluable. Um, to be able to influence buying decisions, what's that worth? I would say that that's pretty darn priceless to be able to make somebody go from, oh, wow, I like that to, oh, wow, I want that in a split section, Sexist. <laughs> split second. That's pretty valuable. So what these, would these valuable things make a difference in your business? And if so, what would that be worth to you? But I gotta tell you, you can get all of this for less than a dollar a day, because I told you, I really worked hard to make this accessible and affordable for everybody. So less than a cup of coffee at Corner Bistro, you can have all that influence, all that ability to like, uh, you know, capture, capture people's attention and make them look at you as if you're a celebrity status and talk about you for years to come. So for a limited time offer, for the first 100 people to order, we will re reduce the cost of about $500 off of our regular retail pricing for $997 for a year. We are offering this discount because we want people to sign up to meet our initial production capabilities and the first 100 orders will lock in this price for life, which is a big win. Because our pricing will go back up to normal, we're starting to get all kinds of attention and, and attraction with this new tool. So we want you to be able to get in now while it's super duper affordable, trip over yourself affordable. We've actually gone from a, a, an annual model to a monthly model to make it even more accessible. For $27 a month, you can have this power in your hands. And the good news is, is that it's fully risk-free. Uh, we have 30 days to try it. So if you wanted to purchase this service, $100 setup fee, you get to try it for 30 days. After that, it's only $27 a month if you take advantage of the offer uh, right now or soon within this week, because again, I can't guarantee that this offer is gonna be on the table much longer. For our bonuses, we'd like to make sure that you know that once we get you set up, that we will continue to be there to support you and encourage you to be disruptive in your network and in your in your industry. We do bi-weekly Zoom calls for ongoing support, answer Q&A time, as well as just keeping you informed on how other people are seeing success with it. And we also have a Facebook community that provides ongoing support. And to get you off and running as quickly as possible, if you decide to make your business card come alive, we will throw in 50 printed business cards delivered to your door. All right, so if you are interested in taking advantage of this opportunity, for the first 100 orders, you will be locked in to the reduced price for life. 
you would just simply go to revealio.com forward slash digital track and you are welcome to ask me or Leo any questions because this is an opportunity that we see that is eventually going to become normal. People are going to expect that you're going to have re interactive content inside and part of, part of your business or part of your campaign. So I hope that you uh, see the value in being different and disruptive and taking your storytelling to new heights. And I'm, I'm being more than happy to open it up to any questions. All right, thank you, Michelle, for that great presentation. And for those of you that are on the call, just to remind you, right, there is um, a button that you can use to unmute yourself if you join in this uh, through the application on Zoom, or you can definitely just simply ask a question in the chat area. Um, so yeah, ask away. And in the meantime, if people were people asking something, I think it was really great that um, one of the takeaways that I had is was for the um, the section where you were talking about social proof. I think that's something that I'm definitely going to be applying to hey, just a simple interview with somebody that I might have worked with um, in a video that I think that's something great that I definitely... Uh, now you can, you can actually take that video content and repurpose it. You can put it onto your Revealio as well so that people are not always seeing you. And that's the neat thing about this is you can revolve your videos because social proof is huge. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's a good, that's another great idea right there. Um, just mm -hmm. have the content, right? Have all those interviews and swap out your videos on, on Revealio. Yeah. When you're networking, you can say, somebody says, well, what do you do for a living? You can say, well, I do such and such. And then you can just say, well, let me tell you, let me show you what my customers are saying. And then whammo, just, just wave your phone right in front of your business card and watch the customer start just doing all the selling for you. <laughs> That's true, especially because uh, um, there's many people that uh, will talk wonder. So it definitely it'd be a great opportunity to catch the capture in a video and have it um, as an evergreen content to play on an Aurelia card mm -hmm. all the time. Um, let's see. And the other question, everybody seems to be shy. Um, <laughs> Q, Susan, Douglas. Hopefully I answered most of the questions. I've been asked the majority of the questions are, how do you get people to download the app? And I really think that that is a secondary issue. I think first and foremost, we need to let them know that we are the disruptive person. We are coming to the table with something very fresh and edgy and unique by showing it to them first. If you're doing a trade show, what you could also do to help people see the value of the fact that your booth maybe comes alive with interactive content is you can have a video perhaps play on your uh, table showing people how you know they, they can participate in your booth by doing the treasure hunt game and at your booth. You know, incentivizing people that way by letting them see it on a video so that they don't have to have engaged one of your staff in order to understand what they need to do. We also provide texting services. So you can say, text the word app to, and then we would have a, a number for your business that they could you know, quickly get the app that way so that they're not having to sift and sort through anything on the app store. They're just getting directly to the link to download it onto their phone. So that, that shortens that part of it all. Uh, of course, on the back end, if you are using those texting services, you're automatically going to be given the people's phone numbers of the people who did text the word app to download the app. So that's a big win as well. There's a question here in the comments, I think. Yeah. How would this work for life insurance sale? Well, if you're in an oversaturated market, which I believe life insurance, real estate, a lot of those markets. It's and some of the, you know, some of the insurance agents they may not be considered too sexy. I've had I've had uh, accountants say, "Well, how is this going to help me with my CPA company?" I'm going to ask you this. If you're going out and you're trying to help people see the value of working with you and your company versus anybody else's company, A, can you get somebody else to do a story about how you've changed their life like you came in and and help them take away a fear that they've always had with life insurance. Um, people don't care about life insurance, but they only care about it when, of course, they need it, right? So how you can have other people share a story that have needed the life insurance, and then let them tell the story for you, and then you can just say, well, this is what my customers are saying about, about working with me. And you can make that revealio, your business card, be a walking, talking, 
social proof promotion. You can do it that way. Or you could get on there as a talking head and you can just say, hi, I am so-and-so and my customers call me the whatever, you know, come up with something that your customers call you that differentiates you from all the other life insurance agents out there. And then just go quickly into the maybe three key value things that you're able to provide for them, security, mind, you know, I don't know, come up with your little three things and then just say, you know, tap on this button to go and schedule a consultation call or tap on this www button and, and visit my website. There's, you can drive them to whatever you want. Always do one clear call to action at the end of your little video. And I, I guarantee you there are no other, right now there are no other life insurance agents out there showing people who they are through this tool yet. This is a new tool. So it's a, and it's opportunity to set yourself apart from all the other agents. That's, that's how I see it working in your space. Did you say, Michelle, there was a, a limitation on the video length? It's recommended, video. It's, it's recommended to keep it short because people don't want to sit there and hold, you know, the phone yeah. over your card. But it, uh, when it comes to file size, it needs to be less than 100 megabytes. But as far as minutes goes, that's approximately 60 seconds. But I do, I do recommend keeping it short. Yeah, this definitely. Is, this is a lead generation tool. This isn't meant to tell the whole story. So that's what those call to action buttons are. Plus, people will never forget you. They'll never forget how you made them feel that day that you showed them your card coming alive or your book coming alive. I guarantee it. Yeah, that's definitely. And, and Susan, thank you for uh, attending the call. Definitely. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for attending. And Q, hopefully that answered your question. Or if you have any more questions, um, Michelle mentioned she has a group where people are going to, uh, sharing their stories of success, and that was great. Um, I didn't did not a, notice on one of the slides you had um, uh, a couple of my friends from KJ Couture, so uh, so then they were surprised in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it'd be great to, that you can share with us. You mentioned one of the things that the challenges you always get or questions you always get is how to get people to download the app. So one of the things just to make sure I understood correct is that you mentioned, for example, if you're like in a booth situation, um, you can get ahead of the game by incentivizing them, perhaps. Uh, one of the examples you provided is a uh, treasure hunting hunt game. So make it a game like you mentioned right in the beginning. Um, the, the, the application then will um, have instructions like go to the Google app or, or, or iPhone app. Uh, to get it. You can just see you, you can use the word you can just say text uh, like I like I've been using this texting service so you can just say text the word app to and then you give them the number so that gives them the direct uh, link access to download the app or you can just say download Revealio and just make sure that they know it's the word reveal IO so that they don't misspell it and it'll pop up and it's just you know easy to download. The barrier is to get people to understand why they should download it. And I think that if you're going around showing people and, and do, making a big deal about the fact that your booth is interactive or and if you're networking and you make a big deal about the fact that your business card comes alive by showing it to them first rather than just giving it to them and saying, here, download this app and watch it come alive. Who's going to do that? If you show it to them first, they're going to be so mesmerized by it. They're going to go, dang, that was so cool. How do I make that happen? And even if they don't, you still will gather their information, hopefully, so that you're going to follow up with them. And then when you follow up with them, you can just say, hey, remember me? I was the one that showed you that really cool, my business card that came alive. They'll be like, oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was so cool. So you've already got like them, you know, you, you got them feeling something. And that's an experience. If you provide a memorable experience, they won't forget you. And that's what this is all about. Connecting quickly and providing a memorable experience. And of course, if you can, throw, throw them something of value, you know, that gives them even more incentive to want to play. And, and then like you say, right, the, the call to action, because obviously um, somebody may not come in, obviously as the customer the first time, but it's, it's always good to have a system to follow up. So call to mm -hmm. action. Hopefully, try to capture the information. Like you say, conversions uh, uh, to convert it to a lead is very important. Um, uh, and just just continue to follow up. Right, you you meet somebody, you have the information, uh, how you can continue to follow up. So the, the, the call to action button is good to make sure. Yeah, and, and, and that's a beautiful tool because if you're not doing follow up, you know you are missing out on a tremendous amount of money on the table. You're leaving money on the table. 
Revealio is a, a great way for you to stand out in that person's mind uh, when you go back to them. But if you use our texting service, you will be given the person's phone number of the uh, of those that downloaded the app to watch your content come alive. And then there's other keywords that you can use in the texting service that can potentially drive them further down the sales route. So there are techniques that we have, and that would be all part of our strategy session that we can work with you all if you're interested. Um, if you, like I mentioned, there is a hundred dollar setup fee to get started, but if you don't love the responses you're getting, we will give you your setup fee back. If you'd like to, uh, purchase it and then meet with me to have your strategy session. That is the order you need to purchase the, you know, purchase the reveal. Then I will come in and I will work with you for a half an hour or even more if I need to, to get you to be completely happy with what we're going to create with the expectation that it is going to move the needle and it is going to make a huge impact in your business. That's great. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so yeah, that, 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 that was great. Thank you for, for answering the question. Um, I'm not sure if anybody has uh, any other questions. Let's see. Thank you, Susan, thank you, Lev, um, Douglas. All right, um, anything else that you think um, uh, you get asked a lot, a lot from, from customers or any other stories you can share from, um, uh, from people using the tool or your own use? Um, well, I just, I can't, I can't convey enough how awesome it is to hear. I mean, I've been doing this now for a good couple years. This is still new to most, right? This technology, but uh, it's starting. I mean, Burger King just did a huge ad where they, they went and found tracked down every single McDonald's ad across the world so that when their Burger King app recognized the McDonald's ad that it would ignite on fire through the mobile app, it would look like it was igniting on fire. And then underneath that would be a Burger King ad where if you tap on it, you can go claim a free Whopper. So augmented reality is becoming more and more of a powerful and interactive experience marketing tool. And um, I can't express enough to you that this is not going to be new for long. It's um, catching fire. Like I said, Google, Apple, Facebook, they are all in this space now. Augmented reality technology is much more than what I've designed for this particular app. I've designed this app to be so stinking simple because you can create your own content. Video is something everybody can create on their own smartphone. It's not expensive, but if you would like to take this to a corporation who has a lot of money to invest in their marketing campaigns, we can create really dynamic 3D content even that when that, uh, when that, advertisement or that poster is being viewed, we can have like 3D content appearing as if it's coming out of the phone into the person's real world space. It's really quite dynamic. Um, there's really not a lot of limitations on it. I'm just trying to get this to be become known because I really, I have this Tech With Heart community that I started up. Tech With Heart is on Facebook. You can go to techwithheartnetwork.com to join our mailing list. And what I am doing is I'm, I'm passionate about enlightening and empowering small business owners to be able to achieve success in a digital era where Amazon is flipping businesses on their heads and closing down huge, huge retail companies. We cannot afford to continue to do business the way we've always done it. It's very important for us to be thinking different and being different. And this is just such a simplistic way to be viewed upon as absolutely brilliant and different, and it doesn't break your bank. So I really hope you take advantage of it. And if not, it's okay, you know, we'll be around for a while. It just probably won't be at this price, and that's okay too, right? It still will be affordable, but this is an amazing opportunity. So I'm really glad that you gave me the opportunity to share this with your audience, and I hope that they take action, because this is gonna become the new norm, right? <laughs> Tim Cook is saying it, not me, so. Well, thank you for sharing that information, especially I, I definitely need to check on um, your group, the Tech at Heart Network, so definitely I follow yeah. that. Tech, tech um, with Heart, yes. In reference to the texting, um, you say that's uh, part of the service. Do they have a limit on the amount of people that can register via text? No limit on that, but that is an uh, additional offering that we make. It's, um, it's, it's all capable of being done within Revealio, though, so you can have the two services work, working hand in hand. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah. All, All right. right. Leo, thank you for your time today. Have a great rest of your evening. I will be in touch and we'll yeah. talk more. Okay. Yeah.
Have a good one, everybody. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye.